time is, is, is different. So let's stand where you're seeing the gentleman. And I know you want to ask me, why is he in a red kofia? Do you know why? Oh, basically, maybe be because he's a... I'm not that bad. I think because he's a military police officer. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> he's a military police officer but belonging to the Kenya Air Force. Uh, so, once, uh, Jackson, I think we're talking about the, the what? The po uh, is, is it the podium or the dais or that one? <laughs> the dais at the, at, in, uh, at the center of uh, Palakwa Field. Just next to the truck. Yes. Yeah. So the interesting bit about it is when Uhuru Kenyatta arrives at the stadium, yeah. ideally he is expected to do a lap of honor around the stadium. Mm -hmm. And then his vehicle will stop here, mm -hmm. where he will now walk there, mm -hmm. stand, and uh, they will request him to play the national anthem. Mm -hmm. The guard of honor will have already stood in line. And uh, once the commander of the the parade commander comes back to him and says the national anthem is done we are requesting you to uh, inspect the guard of honor then there will be a team of men and women who will be doing this quite fast many people laugh at it and and it's so much precision in terms of ensuring but by the time the commander in chief is done inspecting the guard of honor this will no longer be on the grounds mm. where mm. he will now walk mm. to and back to the podium mm. and the national anthem will play again. Mm. It is in Uhuru Kenyatta's tenure as Commander-in-Chief that he also asked Kenyans to now take seriously the East African anthem. Mm. Why, you ask? Mm. I see, I see, I see. And, and, and actually we, we saw them uh, rehearsing it earlier on in the morning. So we expect of it to be, to be played again when he he makes his way here to inspect that uh, guard of honor is it also when we will see maybe his flag being unveiled that's what we are calling the presidential standard mm. uh, but maybe i can just take you through the flags that we are seeing here mm. um the first flag the white yeah. one yeah. is for the ulinzi sports complex and langata uh, barracks itself. That's the, the venue where we are. Yes. Yeah. The second one, which mm. has the anchor yeah. and the Kenyan flag on top, yeah. is the flag of the Kenyan Navy. Yeah. The blue one with the, the round, which means like, um, it means uh, That's the third one. nautical. Yeah. The, the light blue one yeah. is for the Kenya Air Force. Yeah. And the maroon is the Kenya Army. Many people like to think green is, is what represents the Kenya Army, but no. In terms of flags, uh, the Kenya army takes the maroon. Mm. On the other hand, the, 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 dark blue, the light blue and the maroon make up the Kenya Defense Forces mm. flag. Mm. Next then is the, the Kenya, the, the East African East Africa, flag. Yeah. And then we have the Kenya National flag. flag. And you see the last one yeah. is still rolled up. Yeah. That's President Uri Kenyatta's Commander in Chief standard. The, the presidential standard. The one that that tells you that 